What's going on everyone? My name's AJ and today we're going to be reviewing the Nike Everyday Plus Cushion Crew Socks. So I caught these socks in a dip dyed colorway, but I got them in two colorways. I got them in this bright teal and this orange. And what I really like is the dip dyed fabric on both colors. It's basically the same colors on both, just inverted. So the lighter portion of the sock will be up top and they're just mix matched based on the color. Same goes with the orange colorway. And these socks retailed for $18. I got them from Nike Direct and they come in pairs of two. So if you were to do the math, about $9 per pair of socks. The socks come in this regular Nike packaging where it just has two tags on it. The first tag just says Nike Everyday Plus cushioned on it. And then it says crew, and then it says dry fit. And it also has a denotion of the size up top. So there are two pairs of crew socks when you're copping these socks. <laughs> It said socks a lot. When you cop these, it comes in pairs of two. And the other tag is the typical Nike tag that you see on everything where it just has a swoosh. And as you open it up, a bunch of care label details up top. And it says random by design, each pair is unique on the tag, which makes a lot of sense because in the dip dye, a lot of these socks are really, really random. And it's not like everything manufactured by Nike is gonna look exactly the same because of the dip dye treatment with all the water and the dyes and everything else with these socks. And on the back of the same tag, we have a bunch bunch of barcode information along with the price and the suggested retail is $18 and I caught these in a size large. So when you do look at that size too, if you look at the other tag, it'll just say women's size 10 to 13 and men's size 8 to 12, which is a good barometer as far as the sizing and the fit goes. So these socks are multicolored by design. According to the dip dye, they all are unique. So nothing will be the same. Even if you have the same socks, they're probably going to look a little bit different than someone that has the same exact sock color or just hair because like I I said earlier the wash is very very unique and the process will never be 100% exact to someone else's even if they're using the same exact process same exact sock dyes materials everything else and as usual the Nike sock does have the signature swoosh that logo is on the top of the crew neck crew neck <laughs> you can't wear this as a crew neck no but in all seriousness the top of the crew sock has the Nike swoosh logo and on the bottom it just denotes that same dry fit technology or just says dry fit in an effort to keep your feet not only moisture wicking but performing well when you're working out so it doesn't rip or anything and the fabric content in these socks is 67% cotton 30% polyester 2% spandex so there's some stretch in there and 1% nylon but you would only really know some of the fabric content if you're looking at this sock with a microscope or something no one's ever really like is there nylon or spandex in there but let's just say it's a primarily cotton sock with a lot of stretch based on the polyester and spandex so now onto the sizing and the fit I'm gonna say that the sizing and the fit on these socks are really really easy to do and really really easy to shop for I said really really a lot that was a lot of really a lot and I would just suggest buying it true to your shoe size Nike makes it really easy to figure out what size you are based on the notion up top with the women's and the men's sizing on the tag but also when you go to nike.com and try to buy these socks they will clearly have the sizes for the women and men's shoe sizes in relation to this sock so it's really easy to just go online and figure out what size you are because the likelihood of this sock fitting is very very high and Nike makes it really, really easy to size. Socks are not the hardest thing to size. You just kind of put them on. They either fit or don't fit, either too big or too small. And if you're on the fence about these socks, let's say you want to buy these, but your size is sold out. You could always buy a bigger sock, but it might be a little bit too uncomfortable and may go higher on your leg. But if you buy that, that's better than a smaller sock because a smaller sock you probably can't put on at all. And I'm not going to do any real on feet of me wearing it. I'm going to show some photos of what Nike has on fig, on feet basically if you want to see my feet feel free to subscribe to my only fan only feet nope anyways well <laughs> that's what that's for but this is how it looks on feet I could definitely show it with shoes on but I'm not gonna show my feet for free pay to play baby no but <laughs> in all seriousness this is how it looks on my feet I'm wearing some shorts I'm not gonna show you the feet but I think that they look really clean the socks pop so much compared to any shoe you wear other than if it's the same color of the sock but I think these socks are super dope on feet and they're really comfortable now onto the pros I'm gonna say that my first pro is that these socks are super unique and super stylish so as I go up and down through all the socks whether it's the lighter colorways or the darker colorways of the teal and the orange these are really unique and something you don't really see every day as far as Nike socks unless you're at a gym setting or at an actual Nike store and I think wearing these is such a statement either when you're working out or just lounging and they are really unique based on what Nike said too because none of these will be 100% the same so they all have that unique dip dyed process which has been a trend not only in sneakers but now as we see in the socks they're super trendy super eye-catching super unique super duper <laughs> and that goes 
into my other pro, which is this pair of socks is really, really easy to cop. You could probably go on nike.com and find these easily. They're also in the link in my description if you want to check them out. There is a lot of cool colors other than this teal and this orange, a lot of many different sizes available. And you're not going to have trouble not only sizing it, but finding one that you probably think is really, really cool. And my last pro is that these are comfortable socks. These are the same as a regular Nike sock, but just dip dyed and colored differently. So it's not like they're shrunken or fit any different way than a regular sock. So they're good for working out if you want to look stylish in the gym, but also are really dope for just hanging out and lounging in. My only con with this socks is the retail price of $18. So I personally got it on sale, but I did pay about $16. So that's not really much of a discount. I got these socks for about $8 a pair. And this is not out of the ordinary for Nike socks, which are a little bit more on the expensive side, especially when it comes to other places. And also with this dip dye treatment, I usually see socks for $12 for a single pair, which isn't too bad, but the more and more I do comparisons, this is a little bit of a pricier sock. If you were to get a pair of crew socks, whether they're white or black from Nike, the standard ones, you could definitely get them for a more reasonable value or price. And that was my only con. These socks are a little bit on the pricier side, but it does make sense based on how unique they are and their relation to just the regular pair of crew socks that you could get on Nike.com or in store. But you can never compare these to a sock like Costco or somewhere else where you're getting them in wholesale or bulk like Fruit of the Loom or Hanes because these are such unique socks that are really stylish and comfortable. Not saying the others aren't, but this is clearly a Nike sock. And you could go on Etsy.com and buy a lot of DIY, support local and small businesses if you get a chance to. I have a lot of those Etsy DIY small business pairs. And I just wanted to compare those to these. And I think that these are dope too. Obviously they're official from Nike, but some of the other ones are comparable, but I'm paying a little bit more because of the small business. But at the same time, I do like these equally to those Etsy pairs, but I think these are dope as well. So there's no real con as far as if you buy it from Nike or from a small business. I equally like the quality of the DIY ones and these ones, they're just a little bit more on the pricier side, whether you go to Etsy or the DIY way, or you go to Nike Direct. All in all, I'm gonna say that the Nike Everyday Plus Cushion Crew Sock is one of the most unique, comfortable, and premium priced pair of socks that perform well, but also are very aesthetically pleasing, both at the same time. The dip dye on the rib knit is super clean and very aesthetically pleasing, whether you get this orange and teal version, or if you buy any of the other colors, I've seen like a blue, a red, and many different colors on Nike.com. But what do you guys think about these socks? Leave a comment below. Do you like the orange one more, or do you like the teal one more? Personally, I can't really pick. I like both. Once again, my name's AJ. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, or even notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let go. Peace. Here. Dios.